Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the updated Navigate packages for the new emergency care and transportation of the sick and injured 12th edition by the Public Safety Group. With the new, edition, new 12th edition, there is now a greater focus on preparing students to be more effective field practitioners, soft skills, and closing the gap between content comprehension and putting knowledge into action. The new Navigate packages reflect significant customer research done by the PSG product team, where they have spent several years researching customer needs and what assets would deliver value to both educators and students. Previous edition package offerings were too complex, where educators may not have even been aware of all the assets included, and students may not have actually used all of the resources that they paid for because they did not see any value in them in helping to achieve their goals. The new 12th edition package configuration landed on what customers want. Our end goal is to meet customer needs, ensure that every asset is tied to an outcome, and provide a clear purpose for students because we all know if it's not clear, they're not using it. Our essentials package is really meant for the instructor focused on providing core foundational content in a digital platform. Instructors will have access to the tools and capabilities of an LMS, but will probably still be teaching in a traditional model. I'd also like to point out that the textbook is listed here as we will be making it available to be bundled with every Navigate package. Users of the Advantage package are looking to offer more interactive resources to their students focused on national registry and field success. The greatest enhancements to the Navigate package with the 12th edition are the inclusion of test prep, our student independent study tool, and our brand new soft skill simulations, which we will dive into momentarily. The Premier package provides students with a wide range of dynamic assets ensuring efficacy of virtual learning and facilitating remote learning. If students are struggling or have missed a few classes, the Premier package will not only help instructors identify gaps and struggling performers early on, but you will be equipped with ample remediation opportunities to share with your students. The flipped classroom is our most robust offering of online resources for students who are working more independently through the didactic portion of their course. And this is the most robust offering of teaching tools for our educators, including a detailed instructor manual with recommended schedule and class organization and an updated activity library. Now, since the flipped classroom is so complex and such a vast undertaking to implement into your course, there is not a huge difference between the 11th edition and 12th edition assets or layout. However, all content has been reviewed and updated as necessary by our subject matter experts. Our bolt-on options provide flexibility for instructors to enhance their classroom. These resources can be bundled with your Navigate package. For our instructors new to FISDAP, this program saves instructors time and eliminates the stress of managing records for accreditation, compliance, certification, testing, and internship schedules and tracking. FISDAP was removed from all 12th edition packages to address perceived added on costs, but it is still available for bundling for our FISDAP users. Our interactive lectures support programs that are committed to remote or hybrid learning opportunities and improving student engagement. We will definitely be diving into these once we're in the platform. The virtual patient cases were the simulations included in the 11th edition, taking our virtual ride along calls one step further and providing students with critical thinking and application opportunities working through the associated call. The soft skill simulation provided practice environment to help learners gain the knowledge and skills necessary to communicate effectively, to better manage real life situations, helping to achieve better physical and emotional outcomes for patients and safer conditions for all. Test prep provides students with additional assessments aimed at comprehensive certification exam preparation, which continues to be a top request from our customers. The 12th edition test prep includes 90 new questions. I'd also like to mention that a hard copy workbook is available for bundling with your Navigate package. 
As virtual learning is evolving and the lives of the EMS educator and student are becoming more dynamic, the 12th edition aims to take the best of both worlds approach with packages that are a solid offering but allow for customization and flexibility. Now, let's dive into a premier course and take a look at some of these resources in greater detail. Welcome to the premier access for emergency care and transportation of the sick and injured 12th edition. As some of our users may notice that we really strive for consistency between our Navigate packages. So whether you're in a premier or an essentials course, the layout will be consistent. And we've done this for both our educators and our students. So that way there's no unexpected surprises. As well, there is consistency within the chapter blocks with the resources that are presented to them. Again, we really felt that this would make the experience much more user-friendly and much more easy to navigate to all the resources that are included. So for our new uh, Navigate listeners, I did wanna point out a couple of the LMS tools and capabilities in the platform. With any Navigate course, they'll have access to a participants list, which will be the roster for their course. So as students are registering for their Navigate course, they're automatically gonna be populating into this list and you'll be able to track their last access date of when they've been in the program. Our gradebook is also automated. So as the students are completing the different assignments and assessments that are tied to the gradebook, their grades will automatically populate. And if you've created any categories and weights, their course total will calculate appropriately. We have several different types of reports for you as an instructor, as well as students to track their comprehension of the curriculum, but also for you as an instructor to track how much time the students are engaging with the different types of resources. Our calendar feature has become much more user-friendly where you are able to plug in dates and times around when you'd like different Navigate resources due. Um, as well, you can add offline items into the calendar. So that way the students have one place to go to really stay on track of their coursework. Over here on the right is our course metrics and student engagement feature, which will actually track for you how much cumulative time the students are spending in the program, as well as providing you with a breakdown for each individual student as how much time they're spending each day. Upcoming events is gonna to correlate to the calendar where the students again will be able to keep, stay on track of their course load and know what's expected of them of each upcoming day. As I scroll down, the activities block is quick links for the students. So if they wanna quickly jump over to some discussion forms, or maybe they wanna see all of the assessments that you've created or that are available for them in the class, they can click on that and go jump right over to that list. And then our administration block, of course, is only available to our instructors in the program, but these are your quick links to some of the assets um, that are available and some of your um, administrative capabilities in making tweaks to the platform and ensuring that we're meeting the uh, requirements of your program. So if I click on the question bank, I just want to highlight to all of you um, that our 12th edition test bank has been thoroughly reviewed and updated, and there are 300 new questions in the test bank. So we've got our quiz questions, our practice activity questions, and our additional uh, test bank questions for you to really utilize um, to build out custom assessments uh, to, again, meet the unique needs of your students. I do want to point out to our previous users of our ebook assessments, um, or the ebook quizzes, those have now been added. Um, those questions have been added to the question bank. They are no longer available directly in the chapter blocks. And we've done that because we've got a lot of instructor feedback asking, you know, with the 11th edition, if those assessments could be customized, if the edit, you know, if they were editable. And so from that feedback, we really thought to meet both the needs of the instructor who want a canned course and meet the needs of the instructor who really want to customize the platform, we would take those uh, ebook quiz questions and move them into the question bank. So they're still available to you and you can work with a member of the solutions consultants team to enable those assessments. But again, we thought it would be best to just make them available directly into that question bank. So at this time, I would like to review um, the chapter block resources. And again, every chapter block will be consistent except for skill drill and the skill evaluation seats. Of course, those will only be in the um, appropriate chapter blocks. So just to start from the top, 
for our new users, I want to make sure you're aware of all the assets that are, are available into the platform. So every chapter is going to start off with the learning objectives. This is really to ensure that the students know what is expected of them for each of the chapters right off the bat. Students will then have access to our ebook. Now, this is an identical um, content to our traditional hard copy book, which is available. Um, but I do make note that there are additional learning and annotation capabilities in the platform to really help make the students um, lives a little bit easier. We want to help them with time management. So, you know, they can grab part of the text and they can color code their highlights. They can leave themselves notes. They can drop in a video. They can link out to a third party website or they can leave themselves a voice recorded note. As well, you as the instructor can do one of these four options as well. So if we do a note, we say very important. It'd be good if I could spell that. <laughs> and click on save. Now I have a little note icon here and if I click on that, and I click on the share button, this will actually be deployed out to all of my students' ebooks. So they'll be able to see my personalized note um, as well if I recommend a video or recommend a third party website or probably one of the most popular uh, tools that my instructors use is the voice recorded note where they may add personal experiences or maybe a deeper explanation of a concept. Um, or they may just say, hey, pay attention to this, it might be on your test. So as students are highlighting material, as they're leaving themselves notes, this is gonna start tracking in their my stuff. And I've had students tell me that they will actually go through the text, you know, highlight and grab the core material that they feel is pertinent for them, um, for their review and studying. And what they'll do is actually they can export that little study guide as they call it um, for each chapter. So that way it's really condensed, really helping them, you know, with their time management. And I would like to note with the ebook, um, you know, there's a lot of points of interaction. So there is, you know, the uh, interactive glossary, there are videos, there are animations. So again, really trying to make this an interactive and engaged experience with the curriculum for your students. Um, and as well, if your students are ever looking for offline capabilities, we do have our Navigate e-reader app which will allow for their students, for your students to download the associated e-text into their app. And then once it's downloaded, they can disconnect from the internet and read that book on the go. So after they go through the e-book, they will have access to our interactive lectures, which I mentioned a little bit earlier. Again, with these, we're really trying to support all types of learners. So the students will have access to audio, visual, and kinesthetic learning opportunities while working through the curriculum. So some programs may use this as a completely standalone lecture. We definitely learned that this past year um, that you know, many programs did depend on this to provide their students with the access to the curriculum. Um, and some programs use this as a homework assignment or you know, pre-class work. You know, there's no right or wrong way in how you use these. So we'll jump into one. Welcome to the Airway Management Module. The single most important step in caring for patients is to make sure that life threats are rapidly identified and addressed. A primary component is to ensure that patients can breathe adequately. Within seconds of being deprived of oxygen, vital organs such as the heart and brain stop functioning normally. Brain tissue. So as you'll notice, the audio component is not reading what's on the screen word for word. It's going to go into the concepts a little bit deeper, maybe explain something a little bit differently, because we know that sometimes we just need to hear things differently for, in order for it to click. As the students go through the curriculum, they're going to have access the to The respiratory visuals. system consists of all... They're going to have access to visuals. They're going to have access to videos. They may have access to um, matching activities. As they go through the lectures, they're going to have what's called um, knowledge check questions, which are really speed bumps to ensure comprehension before they move forward in the, into the curriculum. At the end of each lecture, there is a full 20 question quiz to ensure full comprehension. And that does go to your gradebook. So you'll be able to confirm that information. 
On top of the grade going into the grade book, you'll also be able to see how much time the students are spending with the lecture and how many times they've gone through the lecture. Um, the program defaults to unlimited access, but you as the instructor can change that from one um, to six attempts. So if we back up, back into our chapter block. Just some additional resources for your students to go through the material. They will have access to flashcards. These will review the key terminology of the text. They will have access to the full audiobook. And I wanted to highlight this resource because it is um, asked about quite often from students, um, that the students are able to download the full audiobook. It is someone reading the book word for word. Um, the files can be do downloaded into a mobile device. And again, students can uh, disconnect from the internet once it is downloaded and they can listen to the uh, files on the go. They will have access to your PowerPoint slides, your full lecture outline. There is a case study for every chapter. And I know some instructors may turn that into an, um, you know, group project, uh, classroom discussion, maybe a homework assignment. So again, very dynamic on how you use it. No right or wrong way, as long as it's meeting a need in your class. And then again, wherever appropriate, the skill drills and skill evaluation sheets. Then new to the, the um, 12th edition are assessment and action activities. Now these are the end of chapter um, assessments that we've pulled into from the textbook and we've just made it here available for your students to review their work. And then for some chapters, we have our active learning activities, which we have pulled from our flipped classrooms. These are really meant for our instructors who are looking to consider or maybe take those steps in flipping their classroom, right? How do we make our classroom a little bit more engaging for our students? So we've provided you with 13 um, active activities really meant to get students out of their seats, working together, start collaborating, communicating, you know, for you to start assessing those skills that are really vital for them to, to be fully developed before they're out in the field. And then here I've created an end of chapter quiz, and I just wanted to highlight this for you because with any Navigate package, you do have the ability of adding material. And again, it's not mandatory. It, many programs use this right out of the box and many programs customize. But if you do wanna customize with our edit mode on, we do get the ability of having um, additional options, right? Additional activities or resources that we can build out into the program. So just to review these briefly, we have our assignments. This is anything you'd like to build out um, where your students would hand, you know, um, submit this to you um, for a grade. Attendance, this is really more butts and seats attendance tracking um, for in classroom, so present, absent, late, or excused. Our chat room is text based, where the students can join a session with you, uh, communicate again, text, and then you are actually emailed a full session. And I've had some instructors tell me that they've posted that to their Navigate course just for reference for their students down the road. If you're looking to bring in an activity from a third party platform, um, it can be done. The only requirement is what we call LTI or Learning Tools Interoperability, which is really just a fancy way of saying that the two programs will integrate or talk to each other. Um, so if there is something out there that you are interested in, again, reach out to your rep or the solutions consultants team. Um, we are more than happy to do the research for you to ensure that those two programs um, or your third party platform will communicate with Navigate. We can build out discussion forums, which is really posting an open-ended question. Your students can respond directly to the question. They can respond to each other. And we can, again, tie a grade to this. Can build out custom lesson plans. We can host questionnaires like a survey, posting your custom questions and you can collect feedback from your students. Quiz is our test generator in the platform, which will allow for you to um, deploy assessments directly through Navigate or paper and pencil if you choose so. SCORM is if you're looking to build out um, interactive activities with maybe assessments, videos. Um, we're happy to help you along the way if you'd like to build those out. And then some additional resources. We can assign the chapters, the ebook chapters for your students. You can upload files. File max size is 50 megabytes. 
If your files are larger than that, I would just suggest you can zip the folder, compress it, and then upload it here. You can add labels. Um, probably the most popular labels that we've seen is a required and a recommended, and then we can reorganize the resources into those appropriate categories. So that way the students know exactly what they need to do and what can they do in their free time. Pages displaying information in the system, and then of course linking out to a URL. So if I scroll back up to my breadcrumb trail, I'm going to highlight or review some of those assets that we discussed earlier on, starting with our test prep program. Again, this is included in Premier and Advantage and is available as a bolt-on option. So test prep is our student independent study tool, providing students with access to a unique test bank, um, really geared at national registry um, preparation and success. Now these tests do not automatically go to your grade book, um, but you can, when you click on test prep, you can track or view your students' performance through this button. However, the students, when they jump in, it's gonna look like this. And again, um, 90 new questions to our test prep with the 12th edition. Um, and they will not see these questions anywhere else in the system. So I do work with a lot of students that may save this to the end of class. Again, fresh new questions, um, not only to help them with registry success, but preparing for your final. So a student can click on create a new test. Tutorial mode is gonna give them feedback after they answer each individual question. Test mode is going to give them feedback just at the end of the full test. Timer on or off if they want to, you know, simulate more like registry. And then we have our confidence in there. It's really a self-check. And I say to students, nobody but your instructor is going to know. So if you're guessing, give yourself low confidence just so that you know you need to go back and study that material. They can do a comprehensive exam or they can do one of the module exams. Or they can mix it up. Totally their call. I'm going to add five test questions create my test. Just to give you a little taste of the user experience, very user friendly. Um, they get feedback right away. Again, with that tutorial mode, they get the full rationale. They'll have access to a calculator. They can take notes. They can flag questions. And I let instructors know flagging questions is really meant to say to the instructor, hey, I really want to review this with you. And then here's my confidence. I totally guessed. So I'm going to uh, give myself low confidence on most of these test questions. But it's very self-paced. I mean, I have my timer, but there is no rush for the students, right? Awesome, I got one right. <laughs> I'll give myself a little higher, higher confidence there. Super. All right, so now I'm gonna submit my assessment. And I'm going to go review my practice test just to show you the type of analytics and feedback the students do receive. This is going to update as the students go through the material um, and something unique um, or it's going to update as they take additional assessments. Excuse me. Something unique, though, to task prep is that students will have the ability of going back and reviewing the test questions that they have answered. So I know that some programs out there will more tell you, you know, which modules you have performed in and which ones you need to go back and review. Well, here, students will actually be able to go back and review the test questions. So this is also the feedback that you as the instructor will be able to review for each of your students. So let's get add a test prep. And we'll now jump into our virtual mentor lecture series. Again, available with Premier and Advantage. These are gonna provide students with additional audio and visual capabilities, um, reviewing topics and concepts we've historically seen students struggle with on registry. So I will play one of these for you. In this segment, we're going to focus on thoracic trauma, trauma to the chest. The chest is the box of life. It contains the organs that are responsible for moving blood and oxygenating our body. So you can imagine that trauma to the chest is one of the most lethal or potentially lethal conditions that we will ever find in the course of our work. 
being a master at assessing that particular problem is going to make the difference between life and death. I'm going to focus in on some of the trouble spots where students have a little bit of difficulty on state and national exams, but also some of the spots that might make a big difference in the field. Let's talk about this very so just to give you a little insight into what the virtual mentor lectures do provide, again, really meant to complement what you're doing and what you're bringing into your classroom. Our virtual ride-alongs, which are only available in our premier package, are real EMS calls with real EMS personnel, providing insight into the types of calls students will be making once they're on the, out into the field. So let's pick one. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Oh, my motorcycle. It, it fell over. Okay. I need an ambulance. Okay, I'm gonna transfer you to the line of health EMS. They're gonna help you till somebody gets there. Yeah, I need an ambulance. Ambulance. Yeah, um, I'm on the highway and my bike fell over. Okay, which highway are you on, sir? Um. I'm on Highway 10. You're on Highway 10? Are you by an exit or a mile marker? Um, I, I just got off 35. I'm going north. You just got off of, off of 35? Yeah. You're going north on Highway 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yep, the ambulance is already on the way, sir. What's your phone number in case we get disconnected? Oh, um, oh, I, I can't even think right now. Okay. This 22-year-old male was riding his motorcycle a little bit too fast. The curve that comes off of that highway is just a little bit too steep, and he has wiped out. Now, as you... So students will have a guide while listening to the real call, um, asking some probing questions, start getting the students to do some critical thinking, um, discuss, you know, what the consequences are in terms of the decisions that are made. Um, but again, really meant to start putting them into the shoes of an EMT. And then lastly, I did want to jump into our brand new soft skill simulations. With the soft skill simulations, students will have the opportunity to strengthen problem solving skills, build self awareness, and project a professional image, and to articulate effective relationship building and informational questions in a practice environment. To achieve these objectives, students are put into a uh, day in the life experience, uh, providing them with the real life scenario, interacting with a wide range of people. So let's jump into directly into our, our scenario. So I'm gonna actually start over. All right, so there is an introduction um, with our guide, Wes. He is almost like our voice of reason, really trying to ensure that the students, you know, know the purpose of the soft skill simulations, um, ensure that they are aware of the tools that are available as they're going through the simulation. Um, And the techniques and you know types of questions that we really want to strive for the students to to start asking feel comfortable asking so here's our ambulance our little background information and we have our partner and we're going to play alex and we're going to choose our responses And here's Wes. Again, he is our guide through the simulation. Sure looks drunk to me. But see what you can find out. I'm going to talk to the bouncer. Apparently he called it in. No, no. I don't need anything. Just go away. So throughout the um, different simulations, we're going to be presenting students what's called scaffolding instruction, whereby each scenario builds upon the other. Um, the first tool, the students will have access to some analytical tools for each um, 
but they'll be able to um, use at their discretion. So if they choose to ant choose a certain explanation, give information, um, they can also ask additional questions uh, that will probe some, you know, thoughts from the person that they're um, speaking with. If they feel that they would like to undo that response, they can. They can also go to West for some help. Those types of tools will not be available in the last simulation. Again, that's really meant to be the most um, intense. So here, I'm going to go with Gibbons. Hi, my name is Alex, and I'm an EMT. I was just talking to... I didn't do anything. What's your name? This... Jason. Okay. I'm here to help you, Jason. Sure. I don't feel good. So here we can go to Wes, our virtual coach. Get some feedback. We can choose the undo or we can keep talking. We can express concern. We can connect. And we can set expectations. I'm going to choose connect. It sounds like you're not feeling very well right now, and I'd like to help you feel better. It just kind of came on. I don't know what. Oh, I'm not feeling too good. Should probably go home. Okay. In order to help, I need to gather a little more information. Do you mind if I ask a few questions, take your blood pressure and pulse? Yeah. That's fine. We're going to get some vitals. We can share our information with our partner. Make an observation or get information. And again, every answer choice has a consequence. And we're really trying to strive the students to pick the best response. Uh, and getting a, as much information as possible. What'd you learn from the bouncer? He threw him out for stumbling around and spilling his whole drink on a table of people. Said he hasn't been able to get a straight answer out of him. Sounds like a typical drunk to me. Well, when I took Jason's vitals, he had a high heart rate and was diaphoretic. So here, let's read our partner's mind. Wow, I'm surprised you got him to trust you enough to take his vitals. So we can always undo, or we can keep talking. Express concern, connect, or set an agenda. So I'm going to set an agenda. We've got to check him for hypoglycemia immediately. Whoa. Don't suppose you care to hear what I think? So here we can go listen to him. Huh. One day they're trainees hanging on every word you say. The next, they think they know everything. We can explain or we can follow up. I'm going to explain. I value your opinion, but I'm also not convinced he's just drunk. Diaphoretic, huh? With an increased heart rate and altered mental status. Could be hypoglycemia. Let's get a blood sugar. All right. So I just wanted to give you a little taste of what is involved in each of the scenarios. At the end of each uh, situation or scenario, students will receive a dynamic set of feedback in their personal performance dashboard, providing an overall, overall impression and narrative results for viewing the skills performed. So they'll be able to see that every decision executed in their conversation leads directly to a line item in their feedback, summarizing uh, what happened as a result of that conversation. So just a few other things I'd like to point out in any Navigate package. If you scroll to the bottom of your home screen or any screen that you're really on, you will always have access to our new training library for Navigate. And this is really a vital um, tool for both instructors and students. As they'll be able, students will be able to find helpful resources in you know, how to register for a Navigate course, you know, where do they go um, to get grades? How, how can they access the ebook offline? Some just tools to make their experience a little bit more user-friendly in the platform. And for instructors, 
this is a great place to find tutorials and handouts for reviewing some of the capabilities in the platform, like creating tests, setting up your grade book. So I just wanted to highlight that, again, that's available in any Navigate course at, all the way at the end of every page. If I scroll back to the top, we also have our teaching tools for our instructors. Um, and something unique for the 12th edition is our instructor guide. This was really built out to ensure that um, instructors are aware of all of the assets in every Navigate package. As well, recommendations on how you may wanna implement those resources, providing you with suggested timelines, recommended scheduling, but really a great place to start for all of our instructors. So this is unique to the 12th edition. And I did also wanna just highlight um, for our 11th edition users who are looking to implement the 12th edition Premier, or excuse me, Navigate packages, um, uh, there are things that can be copied over from one edition to the next edition Navigate courses. Anything specific to the 11th edition must stay in the 11th edition courses. But if you have customized your course, you know, uploading customized PowerPoints, videos, state documentation, those types of resources um, can be copied over. And again, if you reach out to your um, representative or someone with the solutions consultants team can connect with you and getting that all squared away for you. So I just want to say thank you everyone for your time today. Um, I look forward to speaking with you all in the future and please reach out to any member of the public safety group um, for additional information around the Navigate packages for the new emergency care and transportation of the sick and injured 12th edition. Thank you.